everyone welcome back to another hotel stay review video in Da Nang, Vietnam hope you have already checked out our previous video where we stayed at Sala Da Nang Beach Hotel on our first day in Da Nang if you haven't seen it yet be sure to watch it and today we are moving on to our second day and we are staying at the Golden Lotus Luxury Hotel this is a four-star hotel located just a 15-minute drive from both the Danan International Airport and the city center, making it super convenient. The hotel's interior has been newly decorated, giving it a fresh and modern look. The check-in process was super smooth and the staff here at the Golden Lotus Luxury Hotel are very friendly. We were greeted with warm smiles and got settled into our room quickly. We booked a sea view suite with a bathtub and the room is super spacious. It comes with a double bed, a huge TV and a partial view of the sea. But honestly, the view wasn't the best. It's a bit obstructed by nearby buildings, so don't expect a complete clear view of the sea. Aside from that, the room came with all the essentials, some complimentary fruit, tea and coffee and all the amenities we needed for a comfortable stay. And check out this bathroom, it's massive, super spacious and it comes with a nice bathtub which is perfect for relaxing after a long day. Complimentary afternoon tea was included to our room and the hotel staff was super kind and arranged to us to have it beside the pool bar on 11.16. Afternoon tea platter included delicious Vietnamese snacks, sweets and refreshing cool drinks. It was such a nice treat to enjoy by the pool with that lovely atmosphere. The normal price for this afternoon tea is 150,000 Vietnam dons per person and it's available daily from 2 pm to 8 pm. One great thing about this hotel's location is it's really close to Mikey Beach, so guests can enjoy the beach within just a few minutes of walking. So we had a perfect morning stroll by the beach.
buffet was served in the hotel's main restaurant on third floor. It had a mix of both Vietnamese and international food options and they even had an omelet station. However, compared to the breakfast buffet we had on our first day at Saladanan Beach Hotel, we felt there was some room for improvements in both the variety of food items and the taste. So overall, it was a pretty basic general breakfast, nothing special to highlight here. An hour before our checkout, we requested a laundry bag to put our old clothes in. We asked twice, once from housekeeping and once from reception, but unfortunately it never arrived which was a bit disappointing. Also we paid for a room with a balcony, but it didn't really feel like one. The space was very small, more like just a glass door rather than a proper balcony where you could actually sit and enjoy the view. So overall, while the staff were really nice and welcoming, there are definitely a few areas where the hotel can improve, especially in terms of service and some room features. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you soon in the next one. Bye bye.